Imagine having to make a choice for your children. Go to school or eat. Most of us live in such relative luxury that a choice like this is almost unthinkable. But in the mountain villages of Chiapas, Mexico, this choice is all too real. Instead of reaping the benefits of an education, simple things like learning to read, learning to write, or learning a trade or profession that might provide an opportunity to advance in life, many children are trapped in the same ignorance and poverty that has snared generations before them. The founders of Kayani, a growing company that specializes in wellness and nutrition, visited regions like Chiapas and witnessed this vicious cycle firsthand. But unlike so many who were moved by the plight of these communities, the Hansen and the Taylor families had the means and the vision to break this cycle. And from this vision, Caring Hands was born. In the US, over 90% of children receive a primary education, and with that education, their opportunities are almost unlimited. But in Chiapas, the percentage of children who receive an education is a fraction of that. And because of this, opportunities are severely limited. To go to school, Jose has to overcome many obstacles including learning to speak Spanish. Part of an indigenous Mayan community called Pocolum, Jose must walk many miles every day to get to school. The global statistics indicate that more than 250 million kids are not enrolled in school, and more than 600 million children cannot read or understand basic mathematics. The situation is very sad. In the state of Chiapas, we have thousands, hundreds of thousands of children that don't know how to read or write. In Chalam, on average, the children don't even finish the third grade of elementary school. I feel that education for a child is, is almost like elevation for them. Education opens doors for children. It expands our vision of what's possible. The beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take that away from you. I think it opens our eyes to the possibilities that are available if we'll work hard and if we'll take hold of the opportunities that are provided to us. The mission of Kayani Caring Hands is to bring hope to the children throughout the world with nutrition, education, and sanitation. In 2007, when I started and it was just getting going, you know, one of the main drivers for the owners was to be able to give back. And then the ideas about caring hands come up and how we could make a difference to people that were not a part of Kayani. When we started, the founder had the same beliefs in the concept that when you're fortunate, there's an obligation that comes along with that to lift others up. The first time I met Carl Taylor, and we were getting to know each other, I was getting to know more about Kayani, and I have a background in nonprofit, and so I was very, very curious about Caring Hands. Carl started talking about the lives that Kayani, the families of Kayani, the, the foundation had changed. I felt it like right in my gut. I knew that this project was amazing and that the work we were doing down there was changing generations of lives, and I fell in love immediately. The parents of these uh, school children worked hard to provide for their families in those impoverished conditions. I got to teach art lessons to the kids. As I began teaching, they started out very shy, but soon opened up and we were able to work together. So while our focus is on children, that has expanded to building high schools and providing online college opportunities and scholarships. Another one of the reasons that we focused on the Chiapas region would be because of Edich Diestel. He's, he's managing the projects and he is just a man with a huge heart. He has the know-how to get things done and he's just been amazing. He's in Mexico, feet on the ground, running these projects, uh, meeting with the leaders in the communities. I was born in this region of Mexico. I am Chiapaneco. And I have witnessed the necessity of the people since I was a young boy. A lot of poverty and a lot of inequality. There's an enormous separation that's called an educational divide. And it's clear to me that the only thing that will lift these villages up is the education. 
the education equips them with knowledge and the tools necessary to give them a brighter future. Education can also restore hope and dignity. It can make the dreams of a better life become a reality. I knew Kirk Hansen for many years and I knew you know, the type of person that he was, the principles and values that he lived by. The way Kayani Caring Hands is today and, and Kayani in general is largely, in, in, at least in part, because of the values and principles that he lived by. That's how Kayani Caring Hands came about. The desire to help others, the desires to change people's lives and truly make a difference in the world.